Big changes coming in the new year aimed at protecting victims of domestic violence. Starting Thursday, victims can seek an order of protection. They can do that by going online. Political editor Dennis Welch is here now with the details on this. Well, yeah, you know, the legislature approved of this, some of these changes to the law back in 2018, but it took about a year. You had to set up a pilot program to really get things up and running. And now this whole idea behind this change is to give people in a violent situation a chance to get an order of protection in a safe place and away from their abuser. So this is what plaintiffs are going to see when they pull up and then it gives you information on the top where you want to create an account. Raquel Balcazar demonstrates how victims of domestic violence use the new website, which is also outfitted with a safety button that immediately takes the user to a different page. In this case, a list of recipes. It's another layer of safety for for victims. So if perpetrator shows up that, you know, you're looking up, and you're doing some recipes and looking for what, what I'm making for dinner. After filling out the paperwork, the information is transmitted to the courts where a victim should be able to see a judge who can serve the suspected abuser immediately with an order of protection. The judge, if she feels like if you go before the judge and you say, oh, I didn't realize it's going to be served right away, and the judge sees something that's in there that's of concern, she can hold it for 72 hours. Muriel Gutierrez says the new website also helps track if orders are being served, which can be tough since domestic violence is such a huge problem. We see uh, men, women, uh, orders of protection. We also see roommates and neighbors. Neighbors is also huge, too, for the injunctions of, against harassment. And according to the Center for Disease Control, one in four women and one in seven men are victims of domestic violence. And again, that new website is azpoint.azcourts.gov.